So the house we're standing in front of is the Fowler House. It was built in 1894 for Edmund and Sophia Fowler. It was surrounded by orchards. It was a block or two from the river. It was really ideal. The house was designed in the Queen Anne Victorian style. It has most of its original features and decorations. Both on the exterior and on the interior has seen very few changes. It has never had its hardware or its woodwork painted. In 120 years, that's pretty incredible. This amazing uh, paneling and original uh, handrail, newel posts. Uh, you have an original uh, stained glass all with its original trim, the door with its original trim and hardware. At the turn of the 21st century, the neighborhood began to see a lot more pressure to change. And those changes have come in the form of surface parking lots, demolition for sellable lots, and new construction. There is a plan in, uh, in the works right now to demolish the Fowler House and its neighbors for some sort of new development. It's unclear what that development will be right now but the house and its neighbors must be relocated or they will be demolished. There's really, at this point, there's no real timeline for that, but it is an eventuality that will happen. The first wow moment when you step into the house, you see this stair hall and you think, wow, somebody could have just left here. This could be 1895 and the family could have just gone out for the afternoon. But when you look at the stair hall from here, we're on the landing, you can see the original windows here. These are original windows. This is a very typical Queen Anne window with colored glass around a clear inner pane. Unpainted, original Eastlake style hardware, uh, doorknobs and hinges, that kind of thing. With the exception of the flooring, this is exactly as the family would have left the house when they moved away in about 1915 or so. My name is Samantha Martin. I've created the Buffalo Heart Homes. We have joined with Preservation Idaho to collect funds to bid at this auction for the two other homes across the road and the land in hopes of moving the Fowler House over there. What we want to do is take this house and move it across the street to a plot of land that is currently foreclosed and will be going up for bank auction in the near future. The only way to save the Fowler House is relocation. It's the safest way for the house to avoid all the obstacles that can happen while moving a home. This will ensure the integrity of the neighborhood by keeping this historic house in its original location as opposed to relocating it throughout the city, thereby removing much of its historic significance. We want to turn this space into Boise's most unique, interesting, venue. We want to make it available and open to the public an all ages nonprofit organization in historic part of town in this incredible structure. Buffalo Heart Homes plans to restore the Fowler House um, to its original state, leave it open for the community and, as well as have a commercial kitchen and to have upstairs as a place for people to stay and to get to know this city and show people their art while they're traveling through. <laughs> We want to act as this beacon, as this support system for artists, not only in our own city, but throughout the country. We believe that if we offer a place that is open to these artists and can host them, provide them lodging, something to eat, to send them on their way so they feel comfortable and welcome, that they'll be much more inclined to visit us here and contribute their art to our city. I went away to school for a while and I came back and the city has absolutely exploded in ways that I could never have expected. Almost every single arts organization in town is expanding, bringing new musicians in town, classical musicians, jazz musicians, theater, playwrights, dancers, everybody. By opening the doors to audiences like that, we'll create new audiences, people who may not necessarily think they love a certain kind of music. A classical audience may come back the next night to see a jazz musician or someone who's more interested in indie rock music might come see a string quartet play the next night, thereby creating a sense of awareness for all the different kinds of art that are happening in this city right now that only certain people have access to. That's what we want to change. Our hopes in relocating the Fowler House across the road on the foreclosed property 
is coming up. The next auction date is for April 11th. They will be auctioned either to the highest bidder or they will revert to the bank. In either case, will it continue to be rental housing? Could someone come in and retrofit or rehabilitate the buildings for new and contemporary use, business use? Or will they see the same fate that so many of their neighbors have seen, which is demolition, either for surface parking or new development? And we don't know the answer to that. If it is not postponed, we plan to go with the money we have raised and place our bid. If we are not successful with that, we hope to partner with the development that does win. Hopefully they are preservation minded. What we need in the city is a haven for all artists. It's where all artists feel welcome and can come here to work and perform and contribute to this culture in its, in its renaissance. Help us create this space in this home for everyone. It's for you, it's for me, it's for us.